I know. I know I said I was done. And uh, to be fair, I thought I was done. But then I saw stock was going down. <laughs> I need to tap into old reliable, which is why we're reading boyfriends. <laughs> Now, for those of you who did not tune in to the first three readings, Boyfriends is a webtoon that focuses on four different dudes who just happen to all be gay, who've entered into a poly relationship together. However, they certainly do not act like men at all. Not even gay guys. They act like tween girls. So it's very funny. <laughs> it's very amusing to read despite it not being a very good or well-written webtoon. So let's all be amused together, shall we? As you can tell, it is getting colder. I'm in my sweatshirt. Don't judge me. I'm not lazy. I'm just cold. All right, we got Nerd in the library. Yes, that is his name. That is his actual name. Hulf. Oh, oh, it's Prep. What's going on, boy? Ee hee hee. Fancy seeing you here. What are you up to? Flirt mode. Is that really flirting? <laughs> it's just basic conversation. Eh, you know me. Hitting the books and all. Stupid books! <laughs> Shh! Ah, sorry, miss. We'll be quieter. Come on. Let's go somewhere else. We should be okay here on the third floor, still in a library. Why does he look so suspicious? Checking to see if there's anybody else there. This part of the library is usually pretty empty. We won't bother anyone here. Wow, sounds like you know your way around here. I didn't know you're the studious type. Well, not really of my own volition. My parents expect a lot from me, and I have to maintain a high GPA. Uh, that sounds tough. How about you, though? M me? Yeah, you're taking two majors, right? That's gotta be pretty hard. As hard as my- <coughs> No, I can't make- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. Please don't demonetize me. Oh, well, I took two majors on my prerogative, so it's all on me. Sometimes the schedules clash. I miss out on one class, and I have no idea what to do for my exams next week. Can I just say, this is a very boring conversation. Is anything gonna happen? Well, that's college for you. You miss one class, and suddenly you're way out of the loop. Though I know someone who never shows up to class and they do just fine. Anyway, you said your exams are in a week, right? Come on, I'll help you study. Is that okay? Do I have to pay? No need, silly. I'm your BF. And then they, they study together and they end up flirting instead. That's a... yeah, that was a really bad chapter. <laughs> All right, let's hope something actually happens in this one. Huh? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What is this, nerd sister? I... Uh, sorry, it's just fucking... They look exactly alike, but the hair. It's really weird. She doesn't even got breasts. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm awake. What are you doing here? Oh, it's just you. Are you staying up late again? W wait this is not the STEM building. That's why I asked why you're here. Gotta go. I'm late. I'm gonna be late for anime school. And he's off. Ha! I'm here! You're late. Again. I'm sorry, sir. Just go take your seat and I'll continue with my lecture. Alright. Now where was I? That time passes. And that concludes today's lecture. Tap tap. Don't forget, finals will start next week. Review the class notes on the blackboard as usual. And you! I need to talk to you for a bit. <laughs> yes what is it? I noticed that you've been behind on your assignments and that you're almost always late to my classes lately. I understand that you're taking several classes, but that's no excuse to neglect my classes as well. This is the last week for you to prove that you're still willing to take this major. This is not typically how a conversation with a professor goes, but whatever. I mean, in college, is there really any professor that gives a shit if you fail? Like, you're paying to be there. <laughs> who cares? Legitimately though, who cares? If you're not gonna give it your all, might as well quit. That's all. Oh, okay. We we have no idea who this girl was, but she's in the thumbnail. Like, what the heck was that? 
Uh, go ahead and choose what we should watch for today, Bun. We're getting a lot of nerd chapters, aren't we? From what I understand, nerd is supposed to be the self-insert character, so take that as you will. I'll get us some snacks in the meantime. Ooh, sub sub. What's wrong, Bun? Come on, talk to me. It's just a bad day. Oh, Bun, you're so vulnerable. Uh, don't worry about it, really. Emergency meeting. Calling all poly boyfriends. I need you both in my dorm. Stat. Oh, honey. Oh, baby. Don't worry. We're here. Did someone order an extra large hug with kisses on the side? It's so fucking lame. <laughs> Come here, you. Shh. It's gonna be okay. You guys are too nice to me. Nonsense, we're your boyfriends. We should be there for you. Why would you need this many people to comfort you in the first place? If you're the type of person who needs a like crowd of people to validate you and pat you on the back when you're upset, think you have other issues to work out. Sorry, I think you need a diagnosis. Do you want to take a shower first? It might make you feel better. Come with me. Oh, you want to shower together with me? Huh? That's not what I meant. I meant, like, you can wear some of my clothes, pervert. Come on, I'll show you to our bathroom. <laughs> hmm, I should probably make something for him. What are you planning to make? Don't know. Something warm to drink, maybe. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna keep on inserting sexual innuendos. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna resist the urge. Do you cook? Well, I fake cook pasta, sandwich, you know. Though I'm pretty good at baking cookies and brownies, somehow I'm not surprised. Oh, because- because goth is supposed to be trans? Is that the joke? That <laughs> they're better at baking? I don't actually know what the joke is supposed to be. <laughs> oh, that they're like a- a pothead? They're baking pot brownies? I don't know if there are pot cookies though. So it looks like you have some pasteurized eggs and condensed milk. Maybe I can make them some egg coffee? Excuse me? You you want you want to put the, the egg in the coffee? Is that- did I hear him correctly? Is that a thing? What the fuck? Egg what now? Egg coffee. Basically, just some black coffee topped with a mixture of yolk, condensed milk, and sugar. That sounds disgusting. It's my mom's comfort drink. That's like something that you would add to coffee so that it doesn't give you as much of hellish diarrhea. All right, ta-da. Whoa, that looks good. Guys, he's right. I feel just a bit better now. But you didn't solve any of your problems. All you did was have a bunch of boys pat you on the head and, and validate you. We made you something. It's pretty sweet. Hope you're okay with that. Oh, guys didn't really have to. Shush, of course we do. Whoa, it tastes so yummy. You guys are the best. Cute. Ah, oh, this is so self-indulgent. <laughs> Keep in mind, of course, Nerd is the, the one that's theorized to be the self-insert. And considering that this is their, like, icon that's supposed to be them, and this is supposed to be Nerd, I think it's pretty safe to say, yeah, probably self-insert. I don't even- I don't feel like I'm reading a story. I, I do actually feel like I'm, I'm reading a, a someone's fantasy fic. And to some extent, maybe it's not that bad for a comic to fulfill somebody's fantasy, but you know, sometimes it gets a little bit too personal. <laughs> sometimes it gets too personal and less relatable. And I think that's where the problems really arise when it comes to fantasy fulfillment. And you know, also when it doesn't logically make any sense. All right, so Nerd finally opens up to his boyfriends about his actual problem. Your professor said that to you? Yikes. He was being a little harsh. Yeah, I don't know. If I don't do well on the exams, I might just fail the class. <laughs> Sounds like you're an idiot, huh? Maybe I was overzealous when I picked my classes. Ooh, 
Why did I choose so many? Why don't we set up a study group together? Prep was already studying with him in the a couple chapters ago and it didn't do shit. Now did it. Uh, let's just power through our finals. We still have a week until then. So let's just study all we can. I'd love to have a study group together if you guys are up for it. Should we start tomorrow? Sounds good to me. Alrighty. See you tomorrow. Time is passing. They're just studying. This is boring. I can do it. Oh, we got, we got the multiple color hair again. Totally not the self-insert. Hey, bearing the cross. I appreciate it. It's not even like a Satanistic upside down cross or anything. It's, it's literally just, I'm Christian. <laughs> whatever, whatever. We're on the right floor, right? Um, yeah. They're probably just taking longer to finish up their exams, dude. Um, oh, there you guys are. Hi, did your exams go well? Better than I expected, actually. Dyeing my hair three different colors really helped me pass. Yo, just finished my exams too. We can take a break from thinking about college now. Now I'm hungry. Let's go grab something. This is so boring. <laughs> Is anything gonna happen? I have to keep reading until something happens, naturally. It's Pride Month. Oh fuck, something's happening. It's Pride Month, baby. Let's go to a Pride event. Yay! I'm gonna learn y'all all about preparing for a Pride event. Self proclaimed Pride expert went once. Pride events are always pretty hot. <laughs> You might want to bring something that can help with the heat. But this could literally apply to any parade in the summer, or cookout in the summer, or anything really that happens in the summer. Also, make sure bring lots of water, so you won't have to deal with a dehydrated drunk idiot. Yeah, bring your own water, so that some creep doesn't offer you water and have it fucking roofied. Other than that, maybe bring some snacks, sunscreen, change of clothes, etc. Um, change of clothes? What do you mean change of clothes? What's happening to your clothes? that you would need to change it into a new pair of clothes. Would you like to elaborate on that? <laughs> Go. All right, wait a minute. I'll be right back. All right, I'm ready. We're going to Pride, not hiking. Oh, honey, this won't do. We need anything rainbow colored or, or trans bathing suit. <laughs> Fuck if I know. Pride is all about expressing yourself. Go all out, dress up in your most frivolous clothing is a must. Eh? But I don't have anything like that. Alternatively, you can just keep it simple and wear your flag colors like this. I mean, what if you don't like your flag colors? What if you're not into pastels? Or alternatively, what if you are into pastels, but you're not trans? It's a tough world out there, huh? In other words, why don't you just wear what's comfortable? It's a fucking parade. Here it is. It's pretty subtle. Hope that's okay. What is that flag? The, okay, those are supposed to be fl flag colors. I don't know what they are though. Do I have to look this up? I need. I need to know the uh, the in jokes. Um, multiple flags here. See if I can find. Oh. It's the bisexual color flag. Okay. I didn't even know there was a bisexual flag. Because <laughs> nobody uses it. Here is mine. Oh, shit. What is this one? Hang on. Let me go back to my Pokédex. Um, pink, yellow, blue. Pink, yellow, blue, pink. Pansexual. Just in case you guys were wondering. I am an expert on these matters. I will decode the boyfriend's text. The sacred boyfriend's text for the gays. All right. How did you change hair that fast? Anime magic. I'm ready. What do you guys think? Rainbow colored fucking vodka? How does that work? How does that work? What did you do to that vodka? I, I guess because he's wearing the, the rainbow colored sunglasses and vodka, uh, he's just average gay guy. Makes sense. Surprisingly mundane. You look like someone's gay uncle at the beach. Fucking burn. He does. He does. He looks like stereotypical gay guy. And none of you act gay. None of you actually act gay. You all just act like tween girls, which is who clearly who this webtoon was made for. Not actual gay guys. Now we 
got to go to the actual go to the pride event, right? That's where all the action happens. <laughs> where it turns into a fighting anime, right? <laughs> Here it is, the prettiest gay beer in town. How though? How did that happen? How did the beer turn rainbow colored? Is it safe to drink? <laughs> It looks delicious. I want to try that sometime, but right now I'm going to have strawberry float. <laughs> All right, boys, bottoms up. <laughs> Get it? Bottoms? Get it? Get it? Okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm? Hi, I saw you ordered the beer mountain. That's impressive. Care to have a drink with me? Flirting or being nice? It's obviously flirting. N nobody offers to buy you a drink unless they want to fr- <laughs> Oh, sorry. He's taken. I mean, you could always add a new guy. If we're being honest, if you're going the poly route, you could always add somebody new. Sorry. Him. How about you? Me? He's taken too, actually. Sorry. Also, I don't drink. Uh, you? Taken. Oh, um, sorry. I didn't know you're all together together. Uh, I'll just go. It's okay. Actually, you can still drink with us if you'd like. Really? If you guys don't mind, then. How did you start your polycule? It's kind of a long and dumb story. <laughs> Read the webtoon! <laughs> Fucking meta. Meta as shit. Alright, that's gonna end it. But if you would like me to keep reading to their fantastical pride event, I will keep reading if that's what you desire. But you have to tell me. I don't know if you want me to keep reading this unless you make it clear to me. So leave a comment down below. Leave your like. And if you're interested, please check out Burning Star Comments. Comics. If you'd like something new and fresh to get started on, we have plenty of comics up there. Brand new indie comic publisher who is also accepting submissions. So if you're a comic creator yourself who's looking for a place to get their start, this would be the place to go. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Program restart.